idea of this character doesn't necessarily fit in. And there's this idea they keep calling him a mutant, who yep. essentially he was made by magic, and the mm -hmm. idea that you know we're, we don't want your kind here. Essentially, yep. it reminded me a little bit of the struggles of Superman when he essentially kind of gets on Earth and that idea of fitting in. Can you compare and contrast those struggles of maybe like their? I know they're different beings, but can you it's, compare? Them? No, there, there's there are some strong similarities drawn. It's uh, Geralt of Rivia is almost like a blend of Superman and Batman. Yeah, he is. He's Bigger, stronger, faster than your average person, but he's also exceptionally good at detective work, and he was orphaned and abandoned, and he's grown up in incredibly harsh environments and trained exceptionally hard. And so, if you were to take those two characters and blend them together and then put them in a fantasy slash medieval setting, then you'd probably get someone like Geralt of Rivia, but he's got more of a external Batman personality yeah. and an internal Superman heart. Mm. And it's really, really interesting to play a character like that because you there's only so much time you have in a show where you can express all of those complexities and nuances. Yeah. And so for me, the real challenge was boiling it down to an external expression, which is what you see, and then certain reactions, certain interactions which show the warmth of the character on the inside yeah. and what he truly believes in, even though his head is telling him not to believe in those things mm. constantly. Yeah, there's a, that's the great balance because you don't he, you don't think he would care, but yeah. he does that emotional, the external element of it, but the internal part is what sold it to me yeah. as an as an audience member because even when he's not speaking, I could see through your eyes or the way you made, moved your facial expressions that I that I understood what he was going oh, through. Good, that's good. what was so great about it. I, I want to take a second to tell you um, that I'm such a fan of your work, and Thank you very much. I think Man of Steel is an absolute masterpiece that I've seen 35 million times. <laughs> you and, and me both, man. <laughs> I think you are genuinely the greatest Superman to ever live, and I want you to continue playing the character. Thank you very much. I just wanted to know your thoughts real fast, if you had any. I know you're waiting for this question all day, but do you? Ha what are your thoughts on people being so vocal about the Snyder Cut, and it's some is it something that you have seen, or would, would you want to see it? Um, I have not seen any Snyder Cut. I don't know if there's anything that exists that is a Snyder Cut. I'm sure there's footage out there, which has probably been pieced together over the years. Uh, I, I'm, I'm always interested to to see what that, how that stuff turns out, but that is that is very much a chapter in my past. Mm. Um, I would rather talk about what is gonna happen in the future, yeah. the future of Superman, how I can express that character from the comic books, um, which ties in nicely to Man of Steel. Man of Steel, I really like that movie, yeah. and I'd like to be able to tell the story where it was left at that point. Can we get that? Uh, I, I can tell you nothing. Oh my gosh, that'd be I so awesome nothing, if that happens. It would indeed be awesome. The action scenes are yeah. brilliant. And there's a one or an episode one that I want the audience to look out for. Can you talk about the shooting of that, how many takes it was, and is it a real one or is it stitched? Okay. Uh, Wolfgang Stegemann, the fight coordinator and stunt coordinator, and actually second unit director as well by that stage, uh, his team and I designed that fight Sweet. and the fight which happens shortly afterwards as well. Yeah. We poured our heart and souls into that. We had such an amazing time shooting that. It was after eight months of shooting for me, and he had come in with his team for reshoots, and it was all about telling the story. It was all about making sure, for me, that the character existed within the action. That was the most important thing. It's all fine having great action, it's all fine having great characters, but unless the two can exist, can coexist, then, then you're missing out on something. The audience is missing out on something. And every single move of that fight is designed to tell the story of who Geralt is. And you see the contrast between the Wanna, which, which took, I mean, we shot that for half a day, yeah. I think. Um, and th those are exhausting, and it's a true one. -er. That is definitely a true one. -er. The camera, the camera work was yeah. exceptional. To move around that many people falling around and flying with swords and everything yeah. is tricky. And then we shot the second part of it uh, over a day, wow. a day, a day and a half. And um, that was the the. I, I don't want to say anything. Yeah, it's a great yeah. scene. Um, but yeah, I absolutely loved that experience, and it's probably my favorite fight scene that I've done. 